Okay, so I'm back with another video. This video is how do they view you? Okay, so we have, don't bother, this is my pink robe. Don't bother me with my pink robe. It's cold. Okay, we got the crown. We have the citrine and we have a candle, okay? That is Yankee Candle. Autumn is in the park. Oh, shit, I didn't even know this is, I had this for a couple years. I ain't use it. Anyway, so what else are we talking about? I'm high, so you know, y'all have to bear with me in my mindset. Okay, so we have personal readings on my website. I'm on Instagram at Queen Sandra XO. I am on Twitter at Q Sandra XO. Uh, I am also on Patreon, which is where all my sexual readings are. Oh shit. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I wrote it down. Where is it at? I'm about to do another reading on my what's it call it? My Patreon on do they want to take the condom off so let me know if that's something y'all want to see because most of y'all watch my videos on here and on there so let me know if that's what y'all want to see next for the sexual reading and what else lord what else we talking about that's it okay so we're gonna get started with pal a right all right all right and this damn what's the fucking how do they view you okay okay pal a so how do they view you? I wish I could chew some gum. That's so, is it sexually or just in general? Let's do both. <laughs> Let's do both. Okay, so how do they view you? Hmm, okay. Hmm, okay. All right. I like this one. Stay good energy. Stay good energy. Don't don't put no bullshit on no bullshit. I think this person tries to fight y'all being together and trying to work on this shit though. But I think they're trying to get some strength to move forward. So we'll see, right? Um, this person, what is? Oh, oh, okay. This person, hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. I gotta move the table back so it might bump and jump and shit. Oh, I just saw five five. Let's see what Angel says. Okay, Google. Bitch, I, I know. Okay, Google. Five, five, Angel number. Don't ignore According me. to trusted psychic mediums, the Angel number 55 is an indication that positive changes are happening soon. They will bring you closer to your soul purpose and bless you with abundance, love, and energy. The Angels want to reassure you with these Angel numbers. So you remember I was, well, you don't remember, but what I was about to say is that the delays are over. Because I was like, the eight of wands can be taken in a lot of ways. It can mean that you're moving too fast. It can mean that you talk a lot. It can also mean that delays are not over. Delays are over and things are finally fucking moving forward. Whew. Thank, look, we, I wish I had an applause meter because I would goddamn put it to the highest setting right now, okay? When somebody can make up their fucking mind. <laughs> Ooh. Um... I feel like this person thinks of you very, very, very highly. They see you as empress. And they see you as the queen of cups. The queen of cups is the, like the queen, the queen of wands is a sexy bitch, okay? The queen of cups is like she's feminine, she's emotional, but she's very steady in her emotions. She's probably very intuitive. She nasty because it's the Scorpio element in it too. But also very intuitive women. But also it's the most beautiful, it's the beauty queen. I'm sorry, they vacuum in my hallways. Like, I would never tell them to stop doing that shit. But, um, what's about to say? So, I feel like things are actually moving forward. I feel like this person wants to be someone steady in your life. They're trying to take responsibility. I feel like this person wants something of contentment with you. Something rewarding. Something like maybe even a family. Because they see you as an emperor, so they might see you as their baby mama or their wife. You know, whatever. You know, whatever y'all want to call yourselves. Uh, no, 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 no. Strive for being wives. Don't strive to be a baby mama. Okay. Let's see. Because if you his wife, you can have half of everything. <laughs> half of everything, especially if you got a good job and a great retirement. So, uh, let's see what else. Yeah. <laughs> this person sees you as the divine counterpart. A divine and intimate union. Something that is divinely orchestrated. Something maybe even like a soulmate. Uh, I can goddamn tell you it's something of importance. You, you are in a significant love affair with this person. 
This ain't gonna be a long reading. I always say that, then I go fucking 20 minutes. Okay, let's see. This person feels like you are a healthier choice. This person has been working on themselves as well, probably doing some shadow work, some self care, some self understanding. This person wants to meet up with you, wants to talk to you. Probably wants to go out with you. I feel like this person finally sees you as someone who they are compatible with. Someone who is a healthy choice, like I said before. I was going to say that word at first, but you know I don't believe in telling people about that because they don't see it the way it's supposed to. But this person feels like you are a divine counterpart. We're going to put it that way. As well as a karmic counterpart. Do not chase this person because I told you this. That doesn't mean that you need to call them. Let them call you, right? Like I said before on my Instagram, the sperm goes to the egg. Not the egg goes to the sperm, right? Okay. Your person has been very, very decisive. <laughs> and probably even been very selfish and ego-centered and, and each ego-centric probably very entitled all it's all about them i feel like this person is getting their mind together i feel like they're getting their shit together okay then we got the let there you go i was gonna say then we got the last card the person wants to be in a relationship with you after separation they want to come back home they want to fuck you too i keep on seeing intimacy and fucking and uh seduction so they definitely want to plant some seeds in your girl well, guy, you know, anyway. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, so this is Beautiful Pal A. If you like this reading, please let me know. If you want more information on how this person views you, I have personal reading, readings on my website. So please let me know how you feel about this video, and we're going to move on to Pal B. Okay, Pal B, so let's see. For Pal B, how do they view you? These cards. All right, I'll take these cards first. So for Pal B, how do they view Pal B? Pal A was beautiful. They want to be. They want to be with Pal A. Then I see Pal B. <sighs> Pal B, how did it? I hate when that shit happens. This person's anxious. What you anxious about? Reality. What does that mean? Your reality or the reality of the situation? person sees you as friends with benefits that's what's the anxious about i feel like this person probably feels more about it but we'll see uh this person definitely wants to tell you something they feel you, they see you as a close friend this person also sees you as the high priestess or oh, wait wait who who wears this crown pal b or the person oh okay they wore the crown as a high priestess huh so what does that mean Hmm. This person is very intuitive with your nature, whatever the fuck that means. I feel like this person is very in tune with you. You guys are very in tune, probably very spiritually in tune. Let's see. The last share for Pal B. Oh. Pal B. Ooh, 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 ooh. I told you. I told you. That's why they're anxious. Look, I've been doing this a long time, baby. I don't know nothing. It's weed and tarot. And I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> of course. Of course, duh. Your person's in love with you, G. I'm going to be honest with you. But your person's very conflicted about if they really, truly want this with you. And they're conflicted because this person is fearful let's see let's get some okay well let, let me finish i'll be jumping so far ahead all the time your person feels a true ass fucking connection with you and it's mutual you are what they want you bring them balance they feel everything for you they have the ace of cups energy but that also that moon tends to put some uh clouds you know moon you can't see shit in the dark baby but the moon can be a guiding light though it can be a guiding light as well as the stars please you know slaves got away under the stars so of course it can be a guiding light but sometimes you can't see everything in the dark at night you know um 
So I think that they're saying, because I, girl, I don't know why I went on a goddamn tangent. So I'm going to try to sum up and see what happened with that. Um, I think that I was trying to say that your person can see a little clearly now, a little bit more clearly, but everything, they can't see everything. And it makes them think a lot about this commitment with you, about bringing justice with you, because they see you as right now as an option, but an option of potential. <sighs> All right. So let's move on to uh, what this person has to say, because I'm very curious now. Like, I got a little... <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what happened, but I'm curious. What's going on, Pal B's person? How do you view Pal B? What, do you, what, do you, what is this energy that I'm picking up that you put down? I got to stop cursing on my videos. My mama said I curse too much. <laughs> So we gotta stop cursing. Your person likes you though. That's great. That's beautiful. This person's in love with you though. So this person probably presents themselves as I like you, but on the inside, deep, deep down, they in love with you. And of course, it's not about me. It's always the person. Of course, they're sorry. They have been taking the time on purpose and they want to spend time with you. Because this person loves you. That's how they view you. Okay. But this person ain't ready. They just not ready to grow the fuck up. This person views you as an important option. I keep having that energy pop up for some reason. It's like you are the best option, but this person's not ready to settle down. Oh. Yeah, because they love themselves more. Even though they love you. And this person enjoys fucking around. They enjoy having other options. This person wants to travel the world and build their wealth. So. I think they talk about committing to you. They talk about committing to you because your sex is good. <laughs> if y'all fucking. But if y'all not fucking, then they talk about how beautiful you are, how sexually attractive you are. Like, I would marry a girl like that. That type of energy. Or someone, you know, whatever your gender is. But what stops them is because of money. Even though they wish to be with you, I think this person wishes that they can find time. It's just that anxiety stops them. I'm, I'm pulling from the bottom of the deck if that's not, if y'all wondering what I'm doing. Uh, but this person feels like you're in their soul family and they enjoy making love to you. If you guys are having sex, that that's kind of what keeps you around. This person enjoys, <laughs> enjoys exchanging energy with you. I, I feel, I just feel like this person has probably changed since you guys have been talking. And I don't think this person's happy when you're not around. <laughs> I think they got feelings for you truly, but they might, they definitely act cold, but. I think this person want to talk to you so let's see and then look the last card i'm in love with you so let's see um not what am i doing what am i doing okay what's next What's, what's next with these two? Just a little curious. Going on another divinely guided journey. Okay. Huh. Uh, because somebody's been trying to figure out what balance to bring into their life. I got Ace of Cups coming out. Uh huh. Let me see this shit. So whoever the feminine energy is is manifesting something. Careful what you ask for, honey. Careful what you ask for, because you might get it. It might not be what you want. <laughs> Look, trust me. I've manifested enough things to know that uh, you gotta be very clear with spirit. Very clear with yourself in general. 
Okay, so it saying to be optimistic about something. This feminine, whoever this person is, is thinking about a king of wands. That's Leo Sagittarius Aries, who she's very sexually, sexually, I wish I would open my fucking mouth, sexually attracted to. Uh, this person is wanting balance, a better give and take, and less fighting. Uh, this person wants to be able to make it work. I feel like it's going to be some heartbreak, though. <sighs> some heartbreak. What's going to happen, child? What's happening, child? Oh. So, Spirit, please talk to me. Tell me what's what, what's going on with Power B. Spirit says you're in control of your destiny. What you want? Be very clear. What are you manifesting? I feel like this love definitely, like you guys are each other's mates. There you go. You got two uh, queens, uh, two wands. King and a queen. Optimism, spiritual balance. That's a Sagittarius energy. Trying to move forward. This, this queen is very clear about what she wants. She's been thinking about what makes her balance. Trying to really stay in the energy of meditation. The energy of focus. What do you desire? Waiting for your ships to come in. Waiting for something to change. There's love. Look at that king. Damn, I don't feel like this is a concluded reading. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck is about to happen. It's not telling me. So that means that it's not supposed to be known. Because the first thing they said to me was, all pal B needs to know. So you don't need to know what's next. Because it's not telling me. If y'all want more information, child, I'll see if I can get the more information from y'all. Maybe maybe because it's probably going to be a lot of outcomes that happens. That's probably what it is. What's this? Something's changing, though. There you go, look. Look at that shit. All right. Um, so if this made any type of sense, and if you guys want more information, uh, my website is thelovemealways.com. Uh, and, uh, please, I'll talk to y'all later. Hi, pal C. Okay, so, uh, let's see. How does your person view you? This person thinks you're smart. This person thinks that you're very intelligent. Okay. Let's see. How does... Oh, my legs. <laughs> How does Pal B's person view them? How does Pal B's person view them? How does Pal C's person view them? How does Pal C's person view them? Oh, wow. Your person feels like whatever you guys do, you bring strength to that. Oh, shit, I'm on 10%. You bring strength to that. Like, you are the glue the whole sit together. You enhance it. Like, you are very encouraging. You see the potential, and when other people don't see the potential, you can make anything grow. Uh, this person sees that your outlook on life is definitely something of importance, like your consciousness. You're very self-aware of your self-image. You, you, you're very focused. This person sees that you're very self-starting, that you're on a mission, that you are very innocent and very, <laughs> but very fiery, very much on a mission. You're probably like a social activist or something like that. Something with social media as well. But you, you create tension and make alarms. This person sees you. This person sees you in a great light. Oh, okay. Here it is. This person is intrigued with you emotionally as well. They have passion for you. They have pet. This person want to fuck you. This person has passion over you because they see you as a boss. They see you as very ambitious. This person likes fucking you. They think that you're very, very smart and you can speak well. This person sees that you're very structured. Probably very structured with time as well. Very self-controlled. Very self-aware, huh? 
All right. How does Palsy's person see them? Okay. Oh, oh, all right. Okay. You don't need to be falling all over the fucking place. Girl, get it together. They see you as needing more. Like, you feel like you have some type of lack in your life. What, what is that? Not enough. You're not satisfied. But you're very, you're very stable, very secure. It's something about growth as well. Like, this, probably, this, probably, this person probably sees you as someone who's growing. And that's probably healing from toxicity. You got, this person is very sexually attracted to you. Uh, this person probably sees you as having trust issues. Like, you're probably learning lessons. Uh, this person is very fucking sexually attracted to you. Y'all probably been fucking. Uh... Probably this person sees you as being very divine as well. And I think that what's this? This person thinks that you're very beautiful. And I think they want a relationship with you. Yeah, they enjoy you. They enjoy time with you. They miss you. This person misses you. This person wants to see you again. This person thinks that you love yourself. You. This person sees that you take care of yourself. And that you are like getting shit done in your life. This person is very interested in you. They like that you see the world in a different way. This person feels a connection to you. This person feels like you can give them what they want, what they need. And if you haven't talked to this person in a while, you will. Don't judge my nails because they... I Don't judge them, okay? Long story. This person wants to see if you are really, truly the one. Because I think they've been... Uh, I think this person wants more out of life. And you have that passion that they're looking for. This person has a positive mind frame that they kind of want to get out with you. I think they've been thinking about you that's nice you see intimacy poking out uh-huh y'all been nasty you see passion trying to poke out y'all nasty i know y'all been fucking because it's too much it's too many too much sexual energy and then look bam and i think this person honestly sees you as a companion like probably even like a, a girlfriend or a boyfriend like y'all in some type of relationship oh i got cramps oh god that's terrible. I don't know where I'm now. Okay, anyways. This person probably sees you as having a really strong intuition as well. Probably psychic. Uh, what else? Spirit telling me. Oh, let's see how this person feels about you. So they seem like they like you. They <laughs> seem like they like a little bit about you. Let's see. How do they feel? How does this person feel about policy? Oh, this person got chemistry. Y'all got, yeah, this person sees, this person feels like you guys have chemistry. This person's trying to learn and engage with you. I know they feel like you guys are in separation, but this person has romantic feelings about you, right? Really? Huh. There it is. Okay. This person is trying to separate their feelings for you. I don't, what is this unrequited energy about? That's weird, but they see them in a different way. Okay. Uh, give me one more. Okay. So, there it is. All right. This person feels like this is definitely a true connection. I'm not going to ever take away from that. This person is going to, this person definitely feels like this is a true connection and they want to give it a chance and they want to make it work because they feel that chemistry thing. Like they enjoy talking to you. They feel like this is was like divinely orchestrated and they feel a soulmate connection with you, right? 
They feel like you're beautiful and you deserve love. This person loves engaging with you, but they are definitely trying to control this situation with you. That's why you guys are probably in some type of separation or energy. I feel like this person wants to be with you, but not right now. It, it, it has to, some time has to pass. Like something has to pass before this can actually end. So that's why I was like, I feel like he's trying to separate his emotion or this person's trying to separate their emotion for you because some time needs to pass. Something needs to pass. It's worth the wait. Like something is, some you wait on something before he can give into being like, okay, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So if y'all want to dive deeper into this and y'all want a personal reading, please let me know. Uh, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Let me know if this resonated down below as well. Okay, I'll talk to you in the next one.